What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Liz and I am so happy that you're here. Today's video is going to be a little different than my other videos because if you didn't know, I am getting married next year. My ring is actually currently being resized so I just have a silicone one. But I wanted to figure out a way to ask my bridesmaids to be a part of my wedding in a special way. And I was having some trouble finding ideas for this because I do live across the country from all of them. So I just wanted to share what I ended up coming up with in case you're also struggling or looking for some ideas. So a little intro to our bridal party. Chris and I are gonna have four people on each of our sides. My maid of honor is going to be my sister, Colleen. I have literally been telling her since we were children that she's going to be my bridesmaid at my wedding. But I still wanted to send her one of these proposal boxes to make it special. I'm also going to ask Chris's sister, Nicole, to be a bridesmaid and two of my best friends from college who are also on the swim team with me, Marla and Christina. And I know what you might be thinking, Liz, you're gonna ruin the surprise for them by making this video, but I am sending them these things long before I'm posting this video. So you are actually watching this from the future. All right, onto the specifics. Two things were important to me when brainstorming what I wanted to be sending them, durability and affordability, because I am gonna be sending these across the country. Um, they need to be something that will hold up in the mail. And I am also trying to stick to a budget for my wedding. So I was trying to make these boxes under $35 per person. And there's clearly a market for this because there are so many sites I saw online when I was looking for inspiration for these, but they're all very expensive. But if you've got the money to blow on those, I totally see the appeal because they make it so easy. You just click what you want in your customized box and they send it for you. They do all the packaging and the shipping, which you're obviously paying for. But yeah, I just didn't see that fitting into my budget. <laughs> So without further ado, this is how I proposed to my bridesmaids and I will of course link everything down in the description box for you. I started with getting these medium flat rate boxes from USPS. I have an account with them online. So pro tip, if you make an account with them, you can order these to your house for free. These cost me nothing to get. I've already taped one of them together and it looks like it's gonna be the perfect medium size for what I wanna send. Next, I wanted to find a way to personalize the proposal for them and I ended up finding these cute little boxes online. They're from this Etsy store and they have a little name on top. I haven't actually opened them yet because clearly it's packaged. I'll put a picture here of what they're supposed to look like when they're open. So we'll pack up Colleen's right now. I also wanted to get them something practical and I know tumblers are super popular right now. And these I found also came in a pack of four. Ooh which is the golden number when buying things in a set. So I'm really happy that we decided on four people for our bridal party. Um, but yeah, they're also individually packaged. I got these little white ones. They felt really wedding-y to me. They look like pretty nice quality. Everyone can use another tumbler and these were $23 for the set of four. And I also picked ones that had like pretty good reviews. I'm a big review person. Obviously, if you've seen my channel before, you know that. Oh yeah, and it comes with a little straw and a little straw cleaner. Next, I personally love succulents and I found this cute little set of four for $16 on Amazon. They're each a little different, so each person will get a unique little succulent. I like the shape of the pot and I like that they're small and packaged. That was just like a happy coincidence. I didn't know they were gonna come packaged like that because I feel like it'll keep it safe as it's being transported in the bigger box. All right, now that I have the items for the proposal, I wanted to make sure they got to everybody in one piece. <laughs> I may have gone overboard with packaging, but better safe than sorry. I found this crinkle paper on Amazon for $20 and I felt like it would add a little touch to the presentation of the boxes since I'm not gonna be unwrapping these things. I feel like this would just make it, you know, a little more cute, a little more thoughtful. I don't know, it's kind of an unnecessary step. You don't have to include this part if you don't want to, but I really wanted to. <laughs> And to line the box, I also got this bubble wrap on Amazon for $23. It's a lot of bubble wrap. I'm definitely not gonna use all of it for this, but again, an optional piece of packaging. If you wanted to just pad your box with like newspaper or tissue paper, I feel like that would work just as well. So I cut off some pieces to line the box. And then I'm just gonna, this is gonna make a mess. And then I'm just gonna put some of this along the bottom. It's still a lot of paper because you can like fluff it up um, to take up more room. And that's another reason why I wanted this as filler because this, this is not that much stuff. You know, I'm only sending them three items. I needed something to fill the box. I'm just lining the bottom with this paper and then I can start placing the items in. Oh, they're gonna fit really nicely. I am so excited for them to get these. All right, so it all fits in the box 
really well. And then all you gotta do is tape it closed. And yeah, I feel really confident with how durable this is with the padding and also like nothing in it is breakable. I mean, the little proposal box might get crushed because it is just like a paper box, but we put ample amounts of padding in this. This is a good box. And there you have it. Cute little proposal boxes that can make it across the country um, or farther to whoever you want to ask to be in your wedding. And if you've been following along with the math, they come out to about $33 a person, which that's before shipping, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. I'll have some more videos here on the screen for you if you would like to keep watching and I'll see you later.